Uh, hey, my name's Rom, and I'm at Revolution Functional Fitness Training in Auburn, Mass. And I'm going to roll you guys through uh, the mobility movements that we have for the month of July. I'm going to do this pretty quickly, but at least we'll give you guys an idea and a reminder of what these movements are. Starting off with our body saw with calf stretch. This is starting push up or hand plank position. You're going to push your heels way back in towards the floor, feeling a big stretch in your calves. You're going to hold that for a minimum of five seconds and then rolling forward right up onto the tops of your toes like that. That one can be quick, and then you go right back for another five second hold or so. We do that one three to five times. From there, we're gonna go into Spider-Man stretch. So with the Spider-Man stretch, I'm in a long half kneeling position like this. Hands go down to the ground in front of your leading foot. And at this point, lifting up my chest, pushing my hips forward. You should feel a big stretch in your hip flexor, groin area. You may feel a stretch in your hamstring of your front knee as well. And you're gonna hold that for about five to 10 seconds. You'll let it release, and then you're gonna repeat it again three to five times with a good five to 10 second hold each time. After you do that, you're gonna drop back into the rested position. You're gonna take the arm that is closest to that knee and rotate up, following it with your vision, nice up and high and then right back down. When you come down, you want to drag the back of your hand on the ground and reach down as far as you can. At that point, you're going to rotate right back up and then right back down again like so. And that's the Spider-Man stretch and then the Spider-Man rotation. From there, we're going to go into the 90-90. So what you want to think is you want to have a 90 degree um, angle in your front leg and another 90 degree in your back leg. What I'm gonna be stretching is my front outer hip and glute. Depending on your flexibility and your mobility, it will all depend on how far you need to go forward. But if you lay down the direction of your knee straight forward, for me, I'm feeling a big stretch on the right side of my hip, which is your front hip and glute. However, you can come to the side a little bit if you need to do that, and that'll give you more of a stretch in that direction or you can bring it that way if that helps your stretch. Whatever works the best for you, we are happy with. After the 90-90, we've got any sort of wall slide, air slide, something for your shoulders. I'm gonna do, show you standing up. I'm gonna take my arms, I'm gonna pull them back as far as I can, bring my elbows down low while I squeeze my shoulder blades together, and then I just let everything relax when I bring them up. Again, I push my chest forward, pull my arms back, squeeze my shoulders together, and then let it all relax when I go back up. And that one is repeated five to 10 times. From there, we've got quadruped neck rotation, which hands and knees is quadruped position. You wanna keep your torso nice and stiff, and all I'm gonna do is turn my head one way, controlled and slow, turn my head the other way. Each time, trying to turn my head a little bit further. You're gonna do that one five to 10 times, followed by chin to chest with a rounding of my back, and then I look up towards the ceiling as I arch my back. Take a deep breath in, and then you blow it all out. Just like so, that's your neck rotation, and you're up and down. So again, that is our mobility for the month of July at Revolution Functional Fitness Training in Auburn, Mass. If you have any questions, please check out our website at www.revolutionauburn.com and click on the link to contact us or give us a call anytime. Thanks a lot.